Hey guys, it's Casey and welcome back for another video. This video isn't going to quite be a tutorial, it's going to be some thoughts that I have in performance. It's going to be pretty self-explanatory and it's going to be pretty obvious, it's nothing groundbreaking, but I think it's good to go over. Um, because I've had the discussion with some people that were getting into game development, and it, it wasn't instantly like a click in their head. Like, it wasn't perfectly obvious. So I think it's worth going over. And that is, how expensive is our code, and when do we need to be concerned about the performance of our code? So kind of the way I look at it is there's really two things that go into how expensive our code is, but maybe three if we want to think of it that way. And I'll open up our character just, just to show. We're not really going to go over any code, but let's just say we have something like tick and we have something like begin play i think i need to drag down the begin play nope there it is so now what we have is we have these two things right begin play well when does that run if we want to comment it this this only runs once right and that this runs every tick of our game right like we, it's very obvious that very quickly if before we even think about the code itself we know that oh well Things that only run once on our actor probably aren't too big of a deal. And there's like a little asterisk with that. But let's just say something like get all actors of class. I, I've used this in, in, a, in an example before. And if we highlight something like get all actors of class, you can see in the second line, it says this is a slow operation. Use it with caution. Do not use every frame. And when it means I don't use every frame, it literally means don't put it on tick. So it, we can instantly see with this event alone that like this is it's it's telling you inherently don't put this on tick so why does it tell us not to put it on tick well this is where it comes into the two things that make something expensive or at least what i view performance as and it's how expensive is the code whether it's a big group of code or whether it's one call itself however you want to think about like the micro or macro scale of your code and how often is it running that's like the second caveat of it right because let's say we have something expensive like get all actors of class well if we use get all actors of class on the event begin play of like here it would be like our player's pawn it's not that big of a deal right because if there's let's say it's a single player game this code this expensive code regardless of how expensive it is it's only going to run run once and it's going to run on the first tick of our game when we first open up our game and we spawn our player that's the only time that this code is going to run so if we end up writing some semi-expensive code on this event begin play are we too concerned about it no it's like it's going to affect one tick one frame of our game potentially or two frames of our game it's really not that important now if it's such an expensive code that our game has this massive two second hitch on load up then sure maybe that's a concern but that's not usually the good code we're talking about so expensive code if we're running it on begin play it's not too big of a deal a little asterisk on that we'll come back to that in a second but then the, the kind of the exact opposite of that is event tick event tick is happening every frame so potentially like you could see how if we ended up like it says here don't use get all actors of class on tick if we end up putting expensive things on tick we have to start being very very careful because literally what that means is when we put something on tick most likely i'm pretty sure we could say this with utmost certainty but there could be some situations where it's not true if we have something that lowers our fps by let's say two because how expensive it is on tick that means every single frame of our game is going to be two less fps potentially once again this is like hugely abstracted but because this runs on every single frame you have to realize that potentially if you're cpu bound obviously this could impact every single frame of our game that this actor this code is running so we have to be a lot more careful in event tick taking this to like the next step what about we compare one actor to another actor say this is a single player game this is going to be like our character's tick but what if we had more than just our character in our game right because pretty obviously you do that so here's our player character what if we duplicate this just for the sake of it and we, let's call this our enemy and what if in our at any time in our game what if we don't have one enemy what if like right like what if we have bunches of enemies right like how many enemies are we going to have spawned at one time is it going to be more than this that we have on screen so you could see here that potentially if we just kind of clean this up on our characters tick the code that we're running here if we only have one character this tick is only going to be running one time in our game right but what if we opened up our enemy tick 
and no longer is this our character's tick, but this is our enemy's tick, how, how many enemies do we have spawned at once? Well, right here, how many enemies do we have? We have, I believe that would be 14, yeah, that's 14 enemies on our screen at once. That means that this enemy tick that we have here, if we have 14 enemies spawned, this tick is running 14 times. So if we just think of maybe there's a hard cap on our game, maybe at any time in our game, the maximum amount of enemies that we have spawned is 15. Or let's just say we always have 15 enemies spawned at once in our game. That means that whatever code that we put on tick in our enemy is potentially going to be 15 times more costly than the code that we put on tick inside of our character. Why? Because it's being ran 15 times over, like in parallel or however you want to think about it, right? So there's kind of a few, there's three main concerns here. The first is how expensive was our actual code itself? And that could be the difference between maybe doing some float math of adding two floats together. Not very expensive. However, get all actors of class, pretty expensive. And once again, we're not, we don't even have to think about our code as like one node or just a small bit, or it could be like an entire group of things that are achieving some type of goal, whether it's moving our character or doing something with the camera or like, right, doing some calculations, whatever it happens to be, they all have different costs to them. So our code's going to be more expensive or less expensive in different places. That's our first concern is just in a vacuum, how expensive is it to run that one loop of code? Then the next concern is, well, how often are we running that code? If we just want to think about it in a single player character perspective, running things on event being in play of our single player character that there's only one of, not that big of a deal. Running something on tick of our single player character, slightly more of a deal, right? Because it's running every tick. Now, is it just like this huge red alarm, never use tick? No, there's definitely things that we have to use tick for, but we have to then put it in perspective of our third concern is this code that we're writing right here. How many times is that going to be running across different actors? With our single player character, right? We're only doing it once. It's, it is what it is. Our enemy's code though here, whatever code that we put on this tick could be running. If we have 50 enemies, it could be running 50 times. So that means we have to be that much more concerned about the code that we put on tick on something that's ran that many times. It, it, I, I'm using the word parallel, but I'm not sure if that's exactly the right terminology there, but th that's just kind of our three concerns, right? How expensive is it? How is it being run? Is it just like only during an overlap, during an event? during begin play, is it like a one-time run? Then our code can be a bit more expensive because if it's only running once in a while, it's not that big of a deal if it's a little bit more expensive. As long as it's not causing like a huge hitch, we can, we can live with it. Things that end up on tick though, a bit more concerning. Or maybe we have on our enemies, maybe we have some type of overlap, right? Maybe it's like we overlapped, who knows, overlap box. We'll just call it that. Maybe we have some code that we run when an enemy overlaps with something. And maybe an individual enemy, maybe this only happens once every 10 seconds. We can have some okay, some decently expensive code here doing whatever it happens to be doing, some AI calculations, and we could be like, okay, well, that only runs once every 10 seconds. It's not that big of a deal. But what happens when that expensive code, and we have 50 enemies? So now that once every 10 seconds is actually 50 times every 10 seconds or five times every second. And then we start, to, right? Then we start talking about well, like, man, okay. So that pretty expensive code I wrote there is actually being ran a lot. So that's just our three concerns there. Pretty self-explanatory. It's nothing mind blowing there. Nothing revolutionary or revolutionary. Re I don't know if that's the right word, whatever. I'll stop using big words. And it's just, right. We have to just have that mindset. So when we're writing the code, we, we just get in that mindset of, well, how, how, how expensive is this code? It's just something to be concerned about. Obviously, we should always be trying to write the least expensive code we can within a reasonable amount of work, but there are concerns of, right, like, we, we need to make sure that we're not killing our own game. These are just some thoughts that I had. I started rambling a bit too much. I'll see you guys in the next video.